morning everyone! Welcome to Julian's Kitchen! It's Saturday once again and para maiba dahil nga malapit na malapit ang Pasko, dessert naman ang gagawin natin. Actually, hindi talaga ako gumagawa ng dessert kasi hindi ako magaling pagdating sa pastry sa mga matatamis na mga bagay-bagay. But, para magawa ko tong recipe na to, ibig sabihin, kaya niya rin gawin ito because it doesn't require much of baking. Basically, mas ase-assemble. Mas luto lang ng mga chocolate. This recipe is triple chocolate trifle. Of course, it's very important that you have your trifle jar. A trifle jar is mas mataas. Mga hanggan dito siya. But since this is the one that I have, ito yung gagamitin natin ngayon. So, kakagawa naman tayo ng tatlong layer ng chocolate dito. That's why we will call it triple chocolate trifle. Trifle. trifle is actually the French truffle or French truffle, meaning it requires little importance. Hindi siya masyado ine effortan Easy to assemble, serve and eat. And that's what we will make. I am going to use gelatin sheets. So for this, I will use two sheets. Meron naman mga gelatin powders. Etong gelatin sheets lang, madali lang din talaga siyang gamitin. You have to soak it for at least 10 minutes in cold water. We'll set this aside first while... We start melting our white chocolate. So you only have to rough chop nila. Konti lang kasi ang fat content ng white chocolate. So it's very easy to melt. We will add cream para matulungan siyang magmelt. Yeah, cream, a bit of salt para bumalanse, eh. para hindi siya nakakaumay. Have to let it melt. Let it melt. Let it melt. Parang wala namang gano'n. <laughs> so, habang hinihintay natin mag-melt yung white chocolate natin, let's start assembling. Itong brownies na to, may peanuts na siyang kasama. So, what I'll do para makita yung peanuts is to layer it like that. Oh, yes! It's Christmas! Magandang dalin to sa mga potlucks or pwede nga gawin to parang birthday cake. Ang oh, cute-cute kaya. At puno-puno to ng love. There you go. And then, yung base na. You can just crumble the brownies at the bottom. Importante lang, ma-cover yung base. And then press. Hanggang ma-cover yung mga nakikitang parts ng glass. Yeah, so it should look like that. Bang. Ah. Pigila ko sa mini po. Yan na. Bilis lang naman talaga mag-melt ng chocolate. So, we now have our melted white chocolate. We'll get our gelatin. So, itong gelatin na to, makikita nyo lalamot siya ng ganyan. No? It's nice to really make this ahead kasi kailangan nyo rin tong bigyan ng chance na mag-settle para talagang sigurado pag sinerve nyo siya sa guests ninyo, buo na siya. Before serving it, chill it muna ng mga at least 2 to 3 hours or better if overnight. You have to squeeze out all the water. And then ito ang ilalagay natin sa white chocolate natin. So, para tayong gumagawa ng mousse, naglalagay talaga ng gelatin sa mga mousse. So, gagawa tayo ng dalawang klaseng mousse. One is white and one is chocolate mousse. So, ayan. Natunaw na kagad yung gelatin, no? Ganun na siya kadali. So, habang tunaw na siya, i-cool down ko siya sa ice bath. Para lang bumilis ang proseso. Otherwise, if you have the liberty of time, just set aside and let it cool down. Because when we start adding the mascarpone dito sa white chocolate, nang medyo mainit pa siya, yung gelatin natin maglalaps. Kahit na natunaw na siya. Kuha tayo uli ng gelatin sheets. And let it soak for another 10 minutes for our chocolate mixture. Excuse me, kailangan ko po yung bowl. Ay! Trash, yeah. Hi! Finally! Finally! Kailangan ko yung isa pang bowl. Ah, wait lang. Ayun, galing. Tama na. Tama na, dupat na. There. So, dito naman, we will add all our milk chocolate coins. Do you want to get some? All our milk chocolate coins. Some cream. Are 
Are you really gonna taste my chocolate trifle? Maybe. Mmm, really? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. I am. Have fun, baby. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love you. Love you. I like it when the chocolate coins just melt in my mouth. Really? Me too. Okay. Pag nag-melt ng chocolate, kailangan low heat kasi once na sumobrang kulo yung tubig, tapos yung tubig ay umabot sa bowl, nag-curdle kagad yung chocolate natin. So, it's just important na yung steam lang ang nagbe-melt sa milk chocolate. There you are. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Can you mix this for mama? Just hold this bowl, the big bowl, okay? Just keep on mixing. Small stir also, okay, baby girl? Thank you. Balik tayo dito. Well, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Add more cream. Is this the first time we've had dinner dessert that we made? <laughs> yes. Kasi nga, hindi ko magawa si mommy na yung dessert. Rarely. Rarely, yeah. And that's the color that I want for my chocolate mousse. Wait. Did you kill mousse for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey. Moose as in M O U S S E. Oh, I thought moose as in the animal. <laughs> no. And then, and we'll add some chocolate syrup here. And then, turn off the heat. We now get our other gelatin. Yeah. Wait, that's Itong gelatin natin, inalagay natin ulit dito. Tutunawin natin siya ulit. You can see, mabilis siyang magdi-dissolve. Yan, wala na siya. Tapat natin dito. Pakalain mong nahawakan ko siya ng gano'n-gano'n. We will now add our mascarpone here. This has cooled down a bit. From the mascarpone, it'll give that extra rich texture para sa ating white chocolate. And so, dahil andito na yung ating mascarpone, we will pour it all over on our brownie base. Those are brownies for nuts? Yeah. So you'll see here, sumisilip lang yung brownie niya, di ba? So we will just let this set bago natin ilagay yung next layer natin. Mm-hmm. That's a nice idea, baby girl. When we start whip ng whipping cream, it's important that your whipping cream is cold and your mixing bowl is cold para umangat at magkahangin at magsolidify yung whipping cream kagad. The whipping cream? Everything? Are we baking? No, we're just assembling. Did you bake the brownies? No, I just love it. <laughs> Pagpasensyahan nyo na po. Kakarag-karag na tong mixer ko, pero this is very it's helpful. It's like color. Mm -hmm. It's just... 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 It's
balls. 32. So, let's see if I already can shove it up. I think I'll just be the one to mix it. <laughs> okay. You mix it. This is just the perfect whipping cream. Iyan yung kailangan nating consistency talaga. Nakita ko. Buo na siya. Is that homemade butter? No, Baba Girl. It's homemade whipped cream. It's like whipping cream. It just like whipping cream. Mm -hmm. but Let's check if nag-set na yung ating yeah, I'm going to set it. Put this back. Is it yummy? Why are you making a face? It's yummy. I love it. The other whipping cream is added to the powdered sugar. I don't like it because I'm too dry with white chocolate ko, and then I'm too dry with milk chocolate. It's so dry with milk chocolate. It's so dry with milk I want my whipped cream to be the final taste that's kind of balanced. Let's try it for a while. I think it's so dry. I think I can take out our... Oh, it's so good! Excuse me. Now it's yummy. Now it's yummy. Mm. So, medyo set na siya. Let's see, set na siya. Ah, hindi pa nga siya kasi set. Add our chocolate syrup. So, you see the layers of brownies, your white chocolate. Higyan natin siya ng hard shell ng chocolate sa side para meron kayong makukot-kot na parang shavings pagka medyo tumigas na siya. Milk chocolate. Kailangan niya siyang ipaset for at least 30 to 45 minutes when you're using gelatin. But if you're gonna use like everything is store bought, it's totally fine. Wow! Wow! Chocolate. Lulubog lang siya kasi nga hindi pa siya nagset. So, okay. Nilagay ko tong whipped cream. Para lang makita niyo on how to top it. Pero syempre, your chocolate mousse should be set already. Sa akin, pag natapos ko na yung topics and everything, isa-set ko na siya. And this is the fun part. Wala tayong tikiman portion ngayon because hindi talaga siya pwede tikman dahil hindi siya set. But I just want to give you an idea of what type of dessert you can actually make. I have here whipped cream that you can buy at any groceries. And then pwede nyo na dito bonggahan. So, kahit nilagay mo siya, hindi na kasi it's gonna set pa rin naman. Ah, magsiset pa rin naman siya. Okay. I will chop the cookies and cream. Is it easy to cut something when it's hard? Depends on your type of knife. You be the one to put this up. So, ito yung magbibigay ng crunch. Okay. Now, my love, you can. Why do the pieces have to be small? Para easier to eat. Just sprinkle it on top, my love. So again, remember, each layer should set first before you add the next layer. May mga hintayin moments lang, but just be patient. At least walang oven. And we can add some chocolate shavings on the side. You can just use any type of vegetable peeler. Look at that. Hindi ba siya parang ginawa ng professional pastry chef? You are a pastry chef. No, my love. I kind of. I don't even know. Actually, I don't even know how to cake. I just really don't have the patience to make one. Okay, that's enough. 
Okay. Okay? All right. And so there, we're done. You already have your triple chocolate trifle. Madali siyang gawin. It's very beautiful. Napaka-presentable niya. Ang dami mag-i-enjoy nito, lalo na yung mga bata. I-surprise yung pamilya niyo that you can actually make a beautiful dessert this coming Noche Buena. We'll see you again next Saturday for another episode of Julian's Kitchen. Merry Christmas, everyone! Stay safe! God bless you all. Be kind! <laughs> Para matikun natin later.